the chocolate. I melted that all down in the microwave, then threw that inside my massive mold till... I just got so excited. What's going on guys and welcome back to possibly another catastrophic failure of a BuzzFeed test. Now I'm just kidding, I'm gonna try my absolute hardest and I do have a couple of tricks up my sleeve that may guarantee that this one comes out good. There are a ton of steps in this one though, so let's get right into it. Alright my peeps, if you've seen this video before, you will know that there is a number of different layers that we're gonna have to tackle on this one. But we are going to start with the brownie. I'm going to be using this brownie mix, which calls for some oil, some water, and some eggs. So one by one, I added all of those ingredients to the bowl, mixed that up thoroughly, threw that into a greased cookie sheet, and then cooked that in a 350 degree oven. Now, originally, I was planning on the next step being the chocolate cake, except if you guys have seen any of my past recipes, I have little to no luck with making cakes. And I didn't want to be here baking for six hours all day, so I cheated and grabbed myself a store-bought one. The third layer we are going to be constructing is the vanilla ice cream. So I grabbed myself a jug of that. You're going to want to make sure that your ice cream is completely down to room temperature before you try to flatten it out. Or else that might happen to you. Moving on. Throw that into a square pan and flatten it out. So I threw that back in the freezer to harden up as well. Now on to the fourth and final layer. I don't know about you guys, but I searched high and low for a recipe on how to make this vanilla heavy cream mixture. It wasn't in the description of the video, it wasn't in the actual video itself, it wasn't in anyone's repost, so I guess I'm just going to have to eyeball this one. The ingredients they used in the video though was some heavy cream, some milk, some white chocolate candy melts, honey, sugar, and this whole vanilla bean, which by the way, was $6 for one. Anyway, let's move on. Into a pot, I added a whole pint of heavy cream and about a half cup of milk. I then sliced and deseeded my vanilla bean, threw that in, and then continued mixing that over medium to high heat until it came to a boil. That happened in about five or 10 minutes. Once that got to a rolling boil, I took it off the heat added about a cup and a half of white chocolate, about a tablespoon of honey, and about a teaspoon of sugar. None of which, by the way, is definitely what they used. I'm just hoping that that's what they did. Now that that is mixed up as well, I threw that in a metal circular pie tin and threw that into the freezer for two to three hours to solidify. All right, finally, we are on to the final stages of this. I melted down some milk chocolate candy melts, cut out a square of my vanilla mix, which is a really weird texture at this point, and then gave that a nice coating in the chocolate. I've done this too many dang times for this step to be difficult anymore. Finally, I threw that to the side, let that harden at room temperature, and I think we are ready to assemble this thing. So just as the video shows, we are gonna first throw down our chocolate brownie, then a block of our vanilla ice cream, then some chocolate cake, and what is this? What, it looks like a caramel sauce or something. They didn't show that at any part of the video. I guess I can melt down some of these butterscotch chips. It looks similar, I guess. And then I topped it all with our ratchetly made liquid Klondike. I then also had to make up a quick hot chocolate ganache, even though they didn't show us how to do that one either. After all your stacking, the time has finally come to crack this thing open. did everything go? It's empty. I guess when I set it off to the side, all the vanilla melted out? 
And let me give it one more quick try, I guess. I cut out another block of the vanilla mix, and um, before I could even finish trying to get a coating on it, it completely melted inside the chocolate. And to be completely honest, I tasted the vanilla just as it was, and it kind of tasted like doo-doo anyway. So basically, even if this thing did work out, the chances of it getting a high rating were slim to none anyway. Hope you guys enjoyed this week's BuzzFeed test. If you did, smash the like button. Can we hit 7,000 likes on this one? A few quick reminders. I have a second channel now that I'm going to be posting behind the scenes and vlogs and stuff periodically. So if you haven't subscribed, go over and do that now. I'll leave that in the first line of the description. Also, I'm going to Playlist Live Orlando in just two weeks from today. Let me know if you're going down in the comments because I am so insanely excited to meet some of you guys. And as always, if you have more suggestions for recipes for me, leave them down there as well. I hope you have an absolutely awesome rest of your week, and I'll see you right back here next Thursday. Peace.